What's up everyone, this is Drake. Today's video is over stock market investing mistakes I made as a beginner. Uh, when I first started off, I made some of these mistakes as well. And I also watched some of these videos when starting off, but I still made the same mistakes. So hopefully you guys can learn from this video and not make the same mistakes I did. Uh, some of the mistakes that I made when first starting off were uh, listening to other people when investing, uh, investing in penny stocks, and uh, investing in companies with a very high dividend. Um, I'm gonna go over each one of those things in this video. Um, before we get started, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't yet and smash that like button. Luckily, when I first started investing, I didn't have too much money to invest, so I was able to learn from my mistakes without losing a lot of money. I personally use the popular stock market investing app Robinhood. Um, if you don't have a place to invest yet, I, I would suggest Robinhood. Um, I'll leave a link below if you want to get a free stock if you, when you sign up. Uh, another popular one right now is M1 Finance. I've heard a lot of great things from that as well, so you could research that and that'd be a good place as well. I'm gonna go over specific stocks I invested in when first starting off and show you how much I invested in that company and how much I lost. The first thing I'm gonna go over is listening to other people about stock market investing advice. Now this isn't all bad that people can give out good advice, but the, the thing I'm gonna stress here is make sure you do your own research on that company as well. Uh, don't just get that person's advice and then go ahead and invest a bunch of money in that company. Uh, do your own research. And then uh, for, as far as the investment advice, uh, make sure you consider who that advice is coming from. Uh, what does that person know about the stock market and everything like that? Uh, when I first started off, I, I, I started watching YouTube videos and I, I came to the financial education page uh, with Jeremy and he, I still like him, I have nothing against him. But when, he, when I first started, he was huge on GoPro. So I just went immediately invested a bunch of money in GoPro without even looking into the company or anything like that. And I ended up losing some money. I'll go ahead and show you that stock. All right, here's a look at GoPro. Um, like I said, I, I learned from this uh, stock from the financial education uh, channel from Jeremy. Um, I have nothing against him again, but um, I'm just starting off, uh, make sure you do your own research before doing companies because everybody's gonna be wrong in the stock market. Nobody knows 100% what's gonna go on. Um, so starting off, I invested in GoPro. Right now it's at $6.08. Um, I only, luckily, like when I when I first started, I, I didn't have much capital, like I said, uh, much money to invest, so I only invested in five shares. And uh, so, at, at a total right now, my equity is at thirty dollars and forty cents, and my average cost is uh, nine dollars and forty six cents. That's way up from right now. We're only at six dollars and eight cents, so you can tell where I bought at was was a lot higher. Uh, right now, you can see my cost. $47.29. Uh, my total returns um, today, that's $1.25. That's 4.29%. Uh, 4, 4 4 Sorry about that. Um, and then my total return, this is where you can really see it. It's at negative 35%. Um, and my total loss is at $16.89. So I'll kind of just take you through here and show you what the, I invested, you can see when I started investing in this. Was October 31st, 2017. That's when I first started uh, investing in the stock market and using Robinhood. Uh, they got the new Hero 7. That's one thing uh, Jeremy really liked, um, which I thought was was really interesting as well, that new product they were just launching. That's another reason he thought that they would grow so much. And they sell things like uh, cameras, like you know the little cameras that they use in sports and stuff like that. So let's make sure you guys are doing your own research. Um, you can learn from other people, but make sure that you know who, where that information is coming from and uh, make sure you do your own research on them as well once you're done. Don't just go ahead and blindly invest in that company and trusting that person 100%. The next thing I'm gonna go over is how I made mistakes from investing in penny stocks. You know, I watched some of the movies like The Wolf of Wall Street and things like that. And I saw all these videos of people um, on YouTube and whatnot saying, oh, invest in this penny stock and you'll get the, you'll get this percent return and everything. So I, I thought I was gonna become rich from investing in penny stocks. I definitely learned the opposite and, 
and I lost some money in penny stocks, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you a few examples of stocks that I tried to invest in and thought I'd become rich from investing in penny stocks. From the name, you think a penny stock would be anything below a dollar. Um, that's not correct. Actually, a penny stock is considered anything under $5. $5 and below is a penny stock. Here's one of the penny stocks I started investing in when first starting out. It's uh, CYTRX. This is a pharmaceutical company. Um, it operates as a uh, biopharmaceutical research and development company specializing in oncology. Um, my average cost was $3.88. And, and now you can see my equity is all the way down to um, $0.74. Cents. So I've lost almost 80% of my initial investment. Again, I only had a few shares, so luck, good thing I didn't have a lot more money or I'd be down uh, 80% and that'd be, a, that'd be a huge hit for me. Good thing I was able to learn from my mistakes and, and grow from there. And I'll give you the quick one year look of this to show you kind of how penny stocks work. And you can see up here, it was all the way up in the dollars and just been dropping like crazy. And don't get me wrong, there are some times where, as you can see right here, if you got in right here, then if you sold right around in here, you would make a lot of money. So, so there are there are some things in there, but the risk is just uh, way too high for me, and and I'd, I'd rather be a long term investor instead of a short term uh, penny stock investor. So there's one of my experiences from uh, penny stocks. So. Um, you can do again do your own research. Uh, there are some good stocks, I'm sure, around that five dollar range. Uh, but make sure again, make sure you do your own research on the company before investing in it. The next mistake I made was investing in, in companies with with way too high of a dividend yield. Um, for this, I, I wanted to just basically live off the dividends, which is still my goal. Uh, but the mistake I was was I invested in uh, like poor companies that had a high dividend. Um, instead, now I invest in um, in stable companies, blue chip companies that have a lower dividend, but they're still more stable companies, so they can still grow while I still get that dividend. All right, here's a look at the company I invested in that with a very high dividend yield. It's uh, Prospect Capital. It's currently at six dollars and seventy one cents. Again, I, I was just trying to invest in this company to live off the dividends, but it wasn't a very good company, so I, I've, I've been losing money, not 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 gaining money there, and in return getting a dividend still but losing money overall in the company. Uh, my equity right now is $33.55. Uh, the cost that I came in at was $41.29. Uh, my average cost was $8.26. My today's return was uh, right there. And my total returns is minus $7.74 coming to around ne uh, negative 18% on my return, almost 19%. Uh, Prospect Capital Corporation Common Stock, also called uh, Prospect Capital, is a business development company uh, which, engage, which engages in lending to and investing in uh, private businesses. Then here's a look at the dividend yield. So I, that's what I was initially attracted to. So at 11.43 I was like, oh, that's a, that's a high yield. I might as well invest in them. So I just jumped on it without even researching the company or doing anything like that. Just because I had a, a high dividend yield, I was ready to go. The headquarters are in New York, New York, and it's founded in 2004. See the market cap. All right, so if you're a new uh, investor, just because it has a high dividend yield doesn't mean it's a, a good stock you wanna invest in. Make sure you do your research and make sure it's a good company. Then the, de the, the dividend yield can just be a plus on top of that. All right, to wrap everything up, make sure you're doing your research on the companies. Uh, research, research, research is most important. Um, it's, it's, it's fine to get recommendations and stuff for a stock, 
but make sure you go back and look at look at the stock and look at the, all the numbers and what that to make sure that they check out. Um, um, a book that I really enjoy was Money Masters the Game by Tony Robbins, and this kind of just shows that a very few small percent of people actually beat the market. So lately, I've just been investing in uh, in, in index tracking funds like the S and P 500 index tracking fund. And investing most of my money in there I do invest with a very small percentage of my money in stocks but overall I'm just investing in those um, index tracking funds and, and, and that's how I'm, I'm investing currently thank you guys for supporting me if you haven't uh, subscribed yet go ahead and subscribe please uh, that'd be a huge help I'm gonna continue putting out new content and if you have if you're still watching you haven't smashed that like button yet go ahead and do that um, thank you so much have a great day